Hey everybody, David Shapiro here with a uh, the first video in a new tutorial series. So this is Python and GPT-3 from the ground up. So if you don't know anything about Python or GPT-3 and you want to get into it, start here. So this is going to be the boot camp starting from zero, uh, starting from scratch. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take a look at this comic from XKCD from 10, 15 years ago. Uh, it basically, it's just making fun of how simple Python is. Uh, the, the punchline is, um, how are you flying? And I just, I just typed import anti-gravity. And then of course he sampled all the things in the medicine cabinet and then now he's flying. Um, anyways, so the first thing you do is you go to python.org slash downloads. It downloads pretty quick. Um, you do install now. And so, uh, the first time I did this, I missed this. Um, because we're doing something so simple, you don't need to worry about virtual environments. So you, you uh, make sure to click Add Python to Path. Um, and you can expand here uh, to see what else it'll do. Um, documentation, that's fine. PIP, you definitely need PIP. So PIP is the pack package manager for Python, which allows you to install other stuff that Python needs. So that's fine. Install for all users. Um, you don't always need to do that, but I do. Um, so but that puts it right here in the standard thing. Uh, again, uh, don't worry about virtual environments. We're just going to install it as the system interpreter. Um, uh, uh, using virtual environments is more advanced, so we're not going to worry about that. So there you go. Um, I actually uninstalled Python entirely just so to show like going from scratch. Um, so this is Python 3.10. That's the latest and greatest. Um, it's the same process uh, probably forever. It's been it's been the same for all of 3.3.x. It didn't used to come with pip. You used to have to install that separately. So the fact that they they include that now is is nice. Um, let me close my console. So once this is done, it'll add Python to the. Um, there we go. Okay, so Python dash dash version. 3.10.5, there we go. So pip install pip dash dash upgrade. So you can do this. Um, it's recommended that that's the first thing that you do um, and because it upgrades your package manager. Um, so the command here is pip. So that's the Python package manager. Install pip, so you're telling it to install something that's already there. And then the dash dash upgrade tells you to upgrade. Now the very next thing you're gonna wanna do is install OpenAI. Um, if you want to use GPT-3, this is the module or the package that you can use. And all you got to do is copy that to clipboard. And you do um, control paste or shift insert for a command line. Um, pip install OpenAI. And this is most of the way there. So it'll run all the dependencies. Um, and unless your system is weird or something, you shouldn't get any errors here. This is pretty straightforward. Um, and if you already have OpenAI installed, then you can just add that dash dash upgrade uh, and away it goes. Now it's giving me a few, few notices. Yep, which is not on path. That's fine. Successfully installed, ta-da. Um, okay, so we're most of the way there. You're most of the way ready, but now what? How do you get code? So if you watch my channel, you'll know that I have I do a lot of code and I put all of my code up on GitHub. So how do you get stuff quickly and easily? The answer there is you use Git. So you go to git-scm.com slash downloads, um, or slash download, sorry. And you get, you download Git. Um, I've already got it, but I'll go ahead and install the update um, so you can see the process. So we will install Git for Windows. Um, install, removing previous Git version. So this is pretty much the same process you'll go through. So what Git does, it is an open source code management tool. It has become the standard code management tool globally. Um, we don't need to see the release notes. Okay, so now that Git is installed, what do you do then? Um, what I do next, or what I'll have you do next, is you go to your command line, um, and you go to this repo. So this is the this is the tutorial repo. I'll put all the all the code and demos here. So you go to this. You click code, the big green button, and you see where it says HTTPS SSH or GitHub CLI. Just leave it on HTTPS. That's the standard. 
you click this for copied. You come back in here, um, you go to the root, um, which you don't have to, that's what I do. You can also do CD, um, oh, what was it? No, it's CD, uh, what was it, user? Ah, I don't remember. Um, user dir, whatever. Um, I always copy stuff down to root just because uh, it's shorter that way. Um, so git clone and then shift insert um, for for this. Uh, and so this this goes to the Python GPT-3 tutorial .git. So the .git file is the configuration file that it's going to use to download the entire repo. So git clone um, and it down, downloads it nice and quick. Then you do cd python and use tab to complete. So tab is autocomplete. So like if you type in windows and then complete, like just, just a win tab, that'll do complete. You can do program files and there's two different ones, program data, program files. Um, but we're gonna go into Python and then we'll do dir. Um, now Windows started integrating uh, Linux commands. So I think ls-all, nope, it doesn't work, okay. Um, but dir will show you everything in the file which right now, since I just started it, it's fine. Okay, so for review, we've downloaded Python and we've downloaded Git and then we've cloned down this repo. We've also installed um, OpenAI. So we're like, right off the bat, we've, we've got a nice minimalist, clean environment. The last thing that I want you to download is Notepad++. And this is if you're on Windows. Um, actually, I think Notepad++ is on um, Linux as well. Um, Notepad++ is a basic text editor Wait, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Um, so they do have that deceptive thing. Make sure you click the, the download on under the, the, the lizard icon. Um, Notepad++, it is a minimalist um, development environment. There are, develop, uh, there are IDEs, integrated development environments, um, like PyCharm. I stopped using PyCharm years ago because it has its own environment variables and all sorts of other complex stuff um, that is just, it's way overkill. Um, and I wanted the simplest environment possible. So Notepad++, um, it'll, it'll do the, um, the language for you and everything. One reason that I like using Notepad++ over PyCharm is that you have to learn to code correctly. Um, PyCharm will do a lot of stuff for you. It's kind of like Microsoft Word and it'll recommend grammar and syntax changes, which is great, except you don't ever learn to do that yourself. And we'll get into best practices for Python in a future video, but right now we're just focusing on setting up our environment. And so what we've done is we've done Python, we've done Git, we've done Notepad++, we've done um, OpenAI, and then we've gotten this repo. Now, by the time you download this, there will be a little bit more in this repo. Um, so let me show you what I mean by in the repo. So we'll just say um, copy paste uh, your um, API key here. So then I'll save this file. We'll go to, uh, what was it? Uh, Python, there we go. Um, and so we'll call this um, open AI API key.text. And so we'll save this here. And what I'll do is this will end up in here. And so you'll go to your OpenAI account. So it'll be um, openai.com account slash API keys right here. Um, I'm not going to show you my key, but what you do is you, you click copy on that and you put it in this folder. And uh, so then we're basically just going to do the hello world of, of um, of GPT-3. So uh, import OpenAI, we'll just go ahead and save this. And I'll save it as hello world.py. And you see that it changed the, the formatting so that now import is highlighted. Um, I am super guilty of this. I always copy paste my own, all of my own old code. Um, so I'm gonna do that real quick um, and show you some basic functions that I use all the time. Um, all right, so we'll go in here. Oops, no, don't open that. Um, we will open it in uh, Notepad++. Okay, so I always start with these few things right off the top. Um, and I'll show you what these do in just a second. Actually, let me check the video length. Oh, we're already at 10 minutes. <laughs> um, so we're kind, of, we're kind of running long already, 
but this will at least get you started with the hello world of of um, your 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 life your life in GPT three. So I just write a quick function. It's called open file. You give it a file path. It opens it um, with encoding as UTF eight as in file, and then it returns the contents of the file. And then the very next thing is I return that and I I pass this information back. Um, and so then what you can do, oops, is uh, you can borrow this function, which will be in this, and I'll trim it down for you. And you'll know that it works though, because we'll I'll have you call this, and you'll actually get a prompt, or you'll get you'll get a response. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify it a little bit, because if it blows up, um, I want you to do some troubleshooting on your own. Um, and then we'll remove the while loop and we'll remove the accept part. And we'll pull that back. Whoops. Okay. So what this function does, the first one, super simple. It just opens a file, reads it, and sends it back. Um, we, the second thing what we did is we set our API key to the contents of this, which you'll need to update. Um, and uh, uh, note, special important note, don't ever commit your API key to a repo because uh, then someone else might see it one day. Um, that should be local only. Um, we will simplify this. So this is the stop. We'll get into what all of these things do later. Um, but yeah, so this, th what this will do is it will just send back uh, a completion. And so then we'll say if name equals main, then we'll say um, my prompt equals, uh, what will be a good prompt? Um, write a list of, uh, of um, famous American actors. Okay, so that'll be our prompt. Then response will be equals uh, GPT-3, whoops, completion. And we'll pass the prompt in, and then we'll print the response. Now, I'm not going to run this, because your homework is you've got to run this yourself, which means you've got to get all this cl uh, cloned, downloaded, and put in your API key here. And we'll call that a day. So just as a quick review, here's what we've done. We, uh, we looked at our XKCD comic from many years ago. We downloaded Python. We downloaded Git. Um, we downloaded uh, Notepad++. We installed OpenAI, which allows us to talk to GPT-3. And then we cloned down this tutorial repo. Um, and then uh, I showed you how to get your API key. So what you'll do is you'll just click this, that copy button, come in here to OpenAI key, um, OpenAI API key.txt and copy paste it in here. Make sure there's no spaces or anything. It'll just be the first line and that's it. And then what you do, and this is gonna bomb, in order to test it, you type in Python, hello world. And it's not going to work, um, except finally, oh, whoops. See, this is why you test your code, kids. What did I miss? Oh, I forgot to remove the try. There we go. Ta-da. OK, now it works. It would be really unfortunate if I sent you code that didn't actually work. OK, now this will still bomb because the uh, API key is invalid. So let me show you what will happen. So it'll say, hello world. It'll say, uh, hey, um, something didn't work. You know, uh, OpenAI, yep. So here's the error right here. OpenAI error authentication, incorrect API key provided. Um, it did not like my API key. So you need to fix that. That is your very first homework. So then to save, save your work, um, or to save my work, I'll do git add dot. Um, so then I do, that adds all files. So then I do git stat. Um, no, git status, sorry. Um, so it, there's two new files to add. So then I'll do git commit am, and we'll do a deeper dive on git in the future. Um, and we'll say initial commit, and then I'll do git push. And so what that does is it says, okay, every I've looked at all the changes that I've made locally. I wanna push it back up to the cloud. So what we'll do then is we'll go back up to Git, and I'll just do a quick refresh, and you'll see that those files are now here. And so these are the files that you're going to use to start learning Python and get your environment set up. Okay, I think that's it. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Um, also consider supporting me on Patreon. 
Um, I am just seeing where this goes. Also, I have a Discord server if you'd like to join to get um, uh, some inside info, to discuss research topics, so on and so forth. Um, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Check, uh, catch you next time.